Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm so excited about tonight's call uh, with Coach Jenna. Mindset for entrepreneurs. Uh, we all need this. Before we introduce Jenna, I'd like to just share the specials for the month. We have 10% off one of my absolute favorite oils, ginger. Ginger, of course, is a great oil for digestion, but it's also, it has so many incredible emotional aspects of it. Um, ginger is our oil of empowerment. So if you ever feel stuck in a situation, making it as actually, this is the perfect oil for tonight, right? I was thinking <laughs> the exact same thing. It's a great oil to help to support feelings of empowerment, to help make decisions, to move forward in life. Um, I've seen ginger help so many people not only deal with digestion, but also vertigo. Vertigo is like that lack of control, that lack of just like everything spinning and, and putting a little bit of ginger on the, around the ear, back of the ear helps to ground, helps to support and help you um, feel more grounded to move forward in life, physically, emotionally, mentally. We also have, if you do 125 PV or more through your loyalty rewards order, we are going to get, Tara's going to send you three packets of our fiber and our fiber is fantastic. If you've never had a chance to try our fiber, it's really, really good. I can't wait for you to try it. Try one, keep one for uh, travel and then gift one. That is going to be my um, motto for these three fiber packets that we're going to get for free. So those are our specials. We also have uh, some incredible enrollment specials through Diamond Club promos. Uh, if you don't have somebody that has a, a Diamond Club promo, connect with me. I will make sure to connect you with somebody that does. Um, if you enroll someone with 100 PV, they're gonna get a free adaptive. If you enroll someone with 200 PV, free adaptive and free diffuser. And with taxes around the corner, People are a little stressed out. They need this now more than ever. Okay, those are the specials. Now we're gonna get into some beautiful nitty gritty. Before we do that, I'm gonna introduce Coach Jenna to you all. I've been really looking forward to tonight, Jenna, and excited to hear what you have to say. Jenna has worked as an entrepreneur her entire adult life. She started as a licensed massage therapist, I didn't know that about you, in 1998 and in the evenings while working her full-time sales job and marketing job by day. Hard worker. Mm -hmm. As a lifelong learner of wellness, she studied energy medicine and became a Yusui Reiki master and applied kinesiology practitioner. That's something that we have in common. Love that. But life has other plans for her career, and she got her real estate license in 2008 and built a top producing team in Austin, Texas for 12 years. This is where her love for coaching blossomed. In 2019, Jenna returned home to the OC, that's where I live, and turned her real estate license for a mindset coaching certification. Today, she coaches realtors loan officers, and financial planners. But her favorite people to coach are women in the wellness industry, which is all of us, of course. She is the founder of the Orange County Meetup Group, Women of Wellness, and a new member of our doTERRA team. So let's give a warm welcome to Coach Jenna, and I am going to pin you and give you the floor, my friends. Yay. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm super, super, super excited to be here. As um, Dr. Hannah shared, I it's it's true. I really genuinely love working with people in the wellness community. And that's actually how I met um, Cindy Baloney through my Women of Wellness Meetup. And that's how I got connected with all y'all. But um, tonight we're going to talk about mindset management for entrepreneurs. And I have a slideshow for you. So I'm going to share my screen. Here we go. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to cover tonight, should be in present mode, there we go, is um, we're going to talk about why your mindset is the most important thing you can have as an entrepreneur. 
We're going to talk about the power of your prefrontal cortex, that part of your brain versus your primitive or reptilian brain. We're going to talk about how the brain has evolved to seek pleasure, avoid pain, and remain efficient. And we're also going to talk about how you can focus on the most important actions to make sure that your business is moving through fear and into confidence. Also going to shrink you guys. I can see all the slides. Here we go. Okay, perfect. So the most important thing when it comes to having a successful business is building your is in successful business is truly managing your mind. There is a reason why most entrepreneurs don't make it. First, they don't have the right formula. They don't have a Dr. Hannah on their team. They're not working for a company like doTERRA that's going to get them started on the right foot. But second, they don't know how to manage their brain. And your brain is not excited about you being an entrepreneur. The most important thing that will determine your sex, your success, bar none, more than anything else, is your ability to manage your brain. Your thoughts are with you all the time, everywhere you go. And so managing your mind is absolutely critical work if you want to be a successful entrepreneur. And I just love this quote from Audrey Hepburn, nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. So let's talk for a minute about your reptilian brain. This is the part of your brain that is in control of our innate and automatic self-preserving behavior patterns, which ensure our survival and that of our species. They control our body's vital functions like heart rate, breathing, body temperature, and balance. And it's in charge of our um, flight, fight, feeding, and reproduction. <clears throat> Back in our caveman days, this was all we really needed. And um, it was, you know, survival was our main goal. But since then, we've evolved. And now we spend much of our time using our prefrontal cortex. Our prefrontal cortex is part of the frontal lobe, and it is highly developed in humans, not in all animals and species, just humans. And it is key to our reasoning and problem solving, our comprehension, our impulse control, our creativity, and our perseverance. It's also responsible for planning complicated cognitive behaviors, say that three times fast, <laughs> decision-making, cognitive control, and thereby influencing our impulse and inhibition. <clears throat> so as we have evolved as humans, our brain has evolved as well. And now its main goal is to seek pleasure, avoid pain, and stay and remain efficient but those primal instincts are still in our reptilian brain and they can be a big problem to us as entrepreneurs and what it means for you to start a business, be self-employed, or even just to be in sales. So let's talk about the entrepreneur entrepreneurial experience. In the entrepreneurial experience, you're gonna be faced with a lot of new experiences, which are very inefficient for the brain. Remember the brain likes to stay efficient. It doesn't know what to do with these um, with these inefficiencies. It doesn't understand that. Maybe you're trying to learn something new like TikTok or Instagram or a new database system. And you know all of this learning, it's just all new experiences. You're also gonna face a lot of failure. There's going to be you know um, something that you try that just doesn't work. And our primitive brain wants to avoid failure at all costs. Back in like caveman days, failure could actually mean death. There's also going to be a lot of confusion. A lot of times where you're just not sure and you don't understand, maybe you're learning something new. And that's also a constant inefficiency. So again, your brain's not crazy about that. And that's just how it's going to be as you move towards being an efficient entrepreneur. You also may face some rejection. Your brain, again, sees this as danger and it wants um, to make sure that we're keeping you safe. But in order to do that, and in order to succeed, you need to be able to get out there and experiment. You need to be able to talk about your product, ask people to try it, make offers, ask people to host parties. And that's the opposite of what your brain wants to do. And therefore, there is you are going to have some fear and some doubt as part of the process. So what happens is many entrepreneurs end up avoiding all of these tasks that we just talked about, all of the new experiences, because they want to stay safe, they want to stay out of harm's way, and they want to stay in the cave with their, um, with their reptilian and primitive brain. 
also at this point, your brain, your brain will start playing some tricks on you because it, it's going to tell you to start doing work that feels like the right work, but actually it's probably more activity and not some of those scary things that you need to do that's really going to fuel your business forward. So for example, you may be posting something on Facebook instead of actually picking up the phone and having conversations and asking people to join the loyalty rewards program or to try a product. Because being an entrepreneur is the opposite of all of these things, seeking pleasure, avoiding pain and remaining efficient. Um, it doesn't provide immediate pleasure at all. It actually can bring up a lot of discomfort, possibly even negative emotion. And it's the opposite of staying efficient because everything is new and cumbersome and you're still trying to figure it out as you go along. So your brain literally reads all of these things as dangerous. And at that moment, your brain doesn't understand what you're trying to do. It's not excited about you building this, this business and about your product and the idea that you have about what you can accomplish. It's just trying to keep you alive. And it's kind of like our reptilian brain hasn't caught up with where we are. And so it's still trying to keep us safe in the cave. So I hope that makes sense. So I want you to think about how it feels when you go to pick up the phone and make a call and ask someone to book a party or to try your product or to talk about your product versus another product. I mean, it can be scary, right? Well, the good news is we have our thinking prefrontal cortex and we can manage that reptilian brain. And when the brain starts freaking out about going through the process of an entrepreneur, we can calm it down. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The other thing that I learned in a seminar that I took recently, um, it was actually about anger, is that when our brain goes into a state of fear, whether it's fear or anger, that the brain actually shuts down, our prefrontal cortex shuts down, and it sends all of the energy to our reptilian brain to protect us so that we literally can't think straight. So, um, you know, the mo you know, what happens is you, then you come to something like this, you have a moment of clarity, and you remember why you wanted to be an entrepreneur in the first place, and that you can give that can fuel you past this fear and into perseverance, and so you can succeed. And that's why it's absolutely critical that you have a crystal clear big why for starting your business. And we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Because what I want to teach you is this cycle here, how you can overcome fear through the cycle of confidence. I learned this mental framework from my coach for Christio. They called it the four C's, but I really like to think of it as a cycle. Because anytime you go to up level, maybe you started as a consultant and you're moving up the ranks and now you're building a team and you have to learn new things all over again, this cycle will start over and continue again. So um, I like to think of it as a cycle because it just helps me remember as I'm facing scary experiences that I'm going to make it through the cycle to confidence. Um, and for me, it also gave me um, just... Once I understood it, I realized that what's going on in my brain is normal. The reason that my hands are sweaty or maybe I'm kind of nervous right now, like that my brain is just trying to protect me and it's releasing all kinds of chemicals and that that's just part of the normal process. So instead of letting those programs run subconsciously in the back of your mind, I want to teach you how to use this prefrontal cortex so that you can respond differently. So when you start something new, um, your brain is going to be looking for reasons why uh, you can be successful. And so it's looking to the past for evidence of why you will be successful either as an entrepreneur. And most of the time there's nothing there. There's no evidence because this is something new. There's no evidence that you can be successful. There's no evidence that you can book a consultation or um, you know, become a director or host a successful party, because these are all things you've never done before. There's just no evidence that you will be successful in business. So we kind of start to freak out right here because we're relying strictly on our idea of something in the future. So one of the thing, ways that you can get past this point right here is by remembering that confidence isn't what we start with. Confidence is what we end with. And the way that we get to confidence is through this cycle of confidence that I'm teaching you. And it starts with your unwavering commitment. And 
doTERRA, I'm imagining with the kind of company that it is, you probably have gone through some exercises about figuring out your big why, but we're going to talk about it in the framework that I'm teaching today for just a minute. So one of the reasons that it's so important to have your no matter what reason is because as you go on this journey as an entrepreneur, you are going to face some very scary things. People will say no to you. People might reject you. Someone will tell you that your business is a terrible idea. You will get on a Zoom and make a mistake or, tr or trip over your words. <laughs> you will get in front of a client and forget to answer a, um, how to answer a question. But when you have that no matter what reason that I'm going to do this no matter what, none of that can deter you from success. And most people, if you look at the statistics, will give up because they don't have a no matter what reason. They're just not that fully invested and committed. They like the idea of having a business, but when it comes to doing the scary work, they fold. They want to have a business and what they think a business will do for them, but they're not committed to it no matter what. Now, when you have your no matter what reason, none of those failures, none of the confusion, none of the setbacks or rejections are going to stop you from achieving your dream. You just lock right back into that commitment, into your big why and the reason that you started your business, why it's important for you to have your own business, why you're so passionate about doTERRA, what it means for you and your family and all of the people that you can help and serve. And by making sure that this commitment is super duper compelling, you, um, yeah, you want to make sure that this commitment is super compelling because if you don't have a compelling reason, you're not going to be able to overcome that brain that wants to seek pleasure and avoid pain. You're just going to end up back in the cave. Now in the chat tonight, I've already dropped an alignment assignment. I don't like to think of like homework and workbooks. Um, it is a workbook, but it's an alignment assignment and it's going to have worksheets that you can use. And one of them is all of the, the ways that you can work on um, developing your unwavering commitment. For me, um, I wanted to be an example of what was possible. I wanted to never have a cap on what I could create or what I could earn. And I wanted to always be in charge of my own destiny, my income, and my schedule. Those reasons were so compelling for me that it fueled me through a lot of fear and rejection. Also, I grew up in a family full of entrepreneurs my whole life. And working for someone else just never resonated with me. I really wanted to work for myself and for my own dreams. And that's what kept me going through all the hiccups and the failures and all of the things that made me question whether I was worthy and capable. So again, make sure you use that worksheet, the alignment assignment, and take some time to figure out what your why is. And I highly suggest really spending some quality time on this, tapping into the feeling and establishing that unwavering commitment. Because you need to be able to generate that feeling, that unwavering commitment, that like feeling in your body. Um, in the face of fear to move you into courage and therefore into action, which will transform into capability and confidence. Okay, so now you have your powerful why, you're ready to roll with that, you have your unwavering commitment, you're feeling strong about it, you've done the worksheet, and as soon as you start taking action, as soon as you start getting ready to host a party and calling people and asking them if they'll host a party, your brain's going to still start to freak out. You're going to have all the, deer, the fears and doubts and all the reasons why it won't work come to the surface. This is a normal. Please do not stop here. That's my dog. <laughs> um, this is where most people stop. That's pretty Piper. Sorry about that. This is where most people stop, but as soon as it feels uncomfortable. But remember, this is supposed to happen. The brain is just trying to protect you. It's like, this is a terrible idea. Run. But instead of running, what you are going to do is you are going to use courage. Courage is the answer to your brain freaking out. Courage is the second C in our cycle of commitment. Your goal is to respond with courage instead of fear. You want to use your courage to remind yourself that you're going to be able to overcome these obstacles and that you won't actually die, even though it might feel like it sometimes. And as an entrepreneur, you're going to need to spend a lot of time in courage. We have to be strong. We have to make the calls. We have to ask for the business. We need to invest the time and invest the money and sometimes take risks and put ourselves out there and be rejected. So you can see why it would be easy to quit, right? Just to relieve yourself from having to go through all of this fear and choose courage instead. So I love this quote from Nelson Mandela. 
I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear, Nelson Mandela. So one of the things that I suggest, one of the most important skills that you can ever learn to develop is the ability to generate and feel courage on command. I'm going to repeat that. I feel like one of the most important skills you can learn to develop is courage on command because you don't want to quit on yourself. And if you anticipate all of these obstacles that are going to come up, everything that you're going to face, then you can use courage and you can fuel your action through them. And that's when you start building your capability. Capability is the third C in our cycle. This is when things start to become a little easier, Whew, right? <laughs> because as you try something and as you practice over and over, and as you get better, you develop your capability and your brain loves to develop to rely on capability. It likes to rely on things you've already done, things that it, it just be, starts becoming easier when we've proven to ourselves we can do something. So it relieves a little bit of that need for courage and you are able, so you, know, you start with courage and then after practice and after some failures and after some successes, you start to build this capability. All that practice, all of listening to Dr. Hannah's sessions and, you know, going with your mentor, having them practice with you, all of the things that you're doing, that's going to breed this capability. And then it becomes easier and easier until you go to up-level your business. And then you have to start back with courage. That's why I like to think of this all as a cycle. Now, one of the things that can happen right here in our cycle of commitment between courage and um, capacity is imposter syndrome. You've probably heard it all over, you know, the Facebook and TikTok and all of that. Basically, what happens here is when you're going from courage to capability, you're not sure of yourself yet, and your brain has two conflicting thoughts. I don't know what I'm doing, and I really want to do this and get good at it. I believe I can do this. And so that's called cognitive dissonance, and your brain doesn't know which thought to give the real estate in your mind to. So know that this is natural part of the process for feeling like you're walking in someone else's shoes. And that's just because you're building your capacity and it's a normal part of the process. So I wanted to just point that out because it's something that a lot of people talk about and it comes up in coaching a lot. And I want you to know that it's there so that you can anticipate it and not let it stop you. Okay, so now you've got your unwavering commitment. You've overcome your obstacles with courage. You've kicked imposter syndrome to the side, built your capability, and now you've got confidence. Confidence is the fourth C in our cycle, where once you were a beginner and you were afraid and you needed to use so much courage, you don't need that anymore. The way we develop confidence is by overcoming the fear through courage. And with this confidence, you're able to gener generate so much energy moving forward you'll be able to go out there confidently and ask for the appointment, ask for a referral and ask someone to give your product a try. So to recap, <laughs> I love this slide. Um, you're gonna start with doubt and frustration and fear and all of those things that are part of the emotional, of the entrepreneurial experience while your brain is trying to seek pleasure, avoid pain and remain efficient. But instead of letting that reptilian brain put you back in the cave, you use your prefrontal cortex, tap back into your big Y and get super committed. And that means that you'll have, oh, I love this slide too. This is um, when you're building your capacity, you're going to be practicing that skill. You're going to be applying it. You're going to assess the results that you're getting and then modify as needed. So as you're developing your sales capability, you're getting more confident. And now you can use confidence instead of courage to go out there. And that's going to feel a lot better, I promise. Because in the beginning, it was loads and loads and loads of courage. But then the pendulum swings and it will be confidence. And that will feel so much better. But most people are very unwilling to go through this whole cycle. They have never get the opportunity to experience the magic of turning their capability into confidence. So remember to anticipate the fear that's going to arise during the entrepreneurial experience. Tap into your why and build that rock solid commitment to fuel you through the courage and overcome the fear. The fear. Develop your capability and then you'll have the confidence to take it to the next level. 
So that's all I have for the cycle of confidence and learning more about your brain tonight. But if you enjoyed what you heard today, I wanted to let you know that you're in invited to join group coaching for entrepreneurs. It's a group coaching course specifically about how to build your business as an entrepreneur. We cover six different sessions, everything from breaking through limiting mindsets. I teach a whole formula on that. Um, Work-life balance with your circle of personal perspective, time, amazing time management techniques. Um, systems to build your success, an actual business planning workshop, and then harnessing the power of leverage. I also, um, oh, the group coaching is offered at two different times on a Tuesday and a Wednesday, Tuesday mornings, Wednesday at noon, all Pacific Standard Time. And I also do private coaching packages. So if you're interested in doing some individual coaching, that's available as well. But mostly, I just want to be connected with all y'all. So here is my phone number where you can email me, find me on Instagram and Facebook and my website. Thank you so much. I would absolutely stop the screen share and I would love to hear like what's coming up for you guys, what you heard for yourself in that, anything that resonated, or if you have any questions, feel free to unmute, unmute and ask away. Oh, thank you so much, Jenna. I wrote a lot of notes here. Great. I loved um, that cycle of all the C's, you know, we have a lot of C's in our doTERRA business. Um, and I love that, you know, that, let me know if this is like a good paraphrase. Mm -hmm. um, if you have that strong enough why, that is what's going to kind of propel you fast through that cycle of C's into yes. confidence. Yes, exactly. Because the driver. A hundred percent. The you by having that strong commitment, that strong why, you can blast right through courage. And it will help you to practice more and faster and go out and ask the hard questions and kind of like fail forward sometimes. Sometimes people will say it. And so that will speed up the process. Without that big why, you're going to be so scared that it's going to be really hard to have enough courage to to do the things we need to do that are new. That makes a lot of sense. And, and that I, I've seen that um, with, with some of our partners that have struggled getting, you know, moving forward into their business. So that's now that's that you know job. the cycle and it's in the handout that I dropped in the chat and I'm happy to email it to anyone as well that if, if they'd like to drop their email in the chat, I can just email it to you directly. But what, now that you know the cycle, you'll see it. You'll see it in yourself. You'll see it in, um, you know, like I recently had to get up and speak in front of a huge audience and I was petrified and I was like, oh, I'm just at the courage part of like the cycle of commitment, right? I haven't done this particular talk before. And so until I've done this particular talk five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 times in person on zoom, then I'm, I've built my capability. Oh, this time I said something different that time I used a different slide. Now I feel more confident. And then you end with confidence. Yes, I will drop the um, I will drop the slide the alignment assignment again. No problem. And Jenna's going to email it to me, and I'll also share it um, in our Facebook group too. Yeah, um, in our that. Facebook groups. <laughs> um, okay. Does anyone have like a good example that uh, Jenna can help you with? This is the time. Are you okay with that, Jenna? Oh, absolutely. I'd love that. Yeah. If someone's feeling like stuck, frustrated, there's certain things that they're um, not doing in their business and they're not sure why, like this is it. This is the stuff right here. I'll share because I'm definitely stuck right now. I've actually been doing an uh, emotions with oils thing because of issues. But um, so I, I've been doing this for two and a half years and I have no builders that I have enrolled that are doing anything, not one. It's really frustrating. And I know that everybody goes through it. I know that, you know, there's ups and downs. There's no doubt in my mind about that, but I, I, it's not that I feel unworthy of doing this because this, I love this. I love being a doTERRA wellness advocate. I love helping people find you know, natural solutions. I love all of it, but I feel, I don't know the wording though, because it's, I don't feel like unworthy. It's just, I feel, I feel deflated. Mm. 
What? And I don't know how to not feel that way. Okay, perfect. So what thought are you thinking that's leading you to feeling deflated? It sounds like this, the circumstance, like your life circumstance is that you don't have any builders on your team. That's a fact. Anyone that can review your upline would be able to see you don't have any builders. And so then you have a thought about that fact. What's the thought that you're having? Um, I don't know. There's, there's several. So I mean, but yeah. it, it's, it's probably mostly like, uh, what am I doing wrong? I, mm -hmm. I feel like, you know what I mean? I, I must be doing something wrong. I mean, none, none of them, you know, so that's, that's the biggest thing I think that's in my head. Perfect. Okay. So what happens, this is a net, this is um what I'm what I'm taking you through right now is a little bit different than what we just, just talked about, but it's completely applicable. This is um what we cover in session one of group coaching. It's called the mindset reset. So you have a circumstance, which is there you don't you don't have any builders. You have a thought, and when you do this formula, you want to use one circumstance, one thought, one of everything at a time. So one your thought is, I must be doing something wrong. Then that creates a feeling, which it sounds like was I heard you say deflated. Yeah. So it creates a feeling of deflated. When you feel deflated, what actions do you take, Judy? Um, usually I shut down. I become a procrastinator. Which is yes, cool. absolutely. You shut down, you procrastinate, you don't go out there and take all your head back to the cave with your oils, right? Right? Your primitive brain is like, nope, this isn't working. This is scary. I'm not going to go out for any rejection. I must be doing something wrong. I give up. Okay. And then the result is you're not going to get any builders like that, right? Okay. So what you want to do with the, that formula is your circumstance is going to stay the same. As of right now, you don't have any builders on your team, but you want to change your thought about it. So what's a different thought you could think? And I don't mean like Pollyanna, pie in the sky, an affirmation you're reaching for. I mean, like something you believe is true right now that you have conviction about that you could tell me 100% you believe. What thought could you come up with like that? Um, but like a thought about this though? That, that, okay, so even though you don't have any builders on your team, mm -hmm. what's a, a different thought you could have about that? And I'm gonna get builders. Them. Yes. What else? Um, I just haven't found my people yet. Yes, yes. what else? Um. good question uh i'm going to continue looking i i'm going to reach out more um and so those are actions which is fine okay. so just you're looking for thoughts right okay thoughts i know i'm having a brain freeze i did just okay. work 12 hours <laughs> so there could also be thoughts like i am so passionate about this product there's no way i can't find builders i love my i love doTERRA i believe in this so much that Builders are naturally going to come to me. The only reason I don't have builders on my team right now is because they weren't the right people. The right people are coming to me all the time. The right people are coming to me on the checkerboard of life. I just naturally exude my enthusiasm about doTERRA and the right builders are attracted to me. I love all those things. Yeah. So you can go back and listen to the Facebook recording for that. Another yes. one, like, you want to, some of those are more affirmations. Really what you want to tap into is like a thought that you believe about yourself and your situation mm -hmm. that you can get behind. Cause then what happens is that thought creates a different feeling. Like even hearing me say that, how are you feeling? I feel really good about that. Cause you know, I, I mean, I do, I mean, I have complete belief in these products. Um, I've, I've had major pain issues and they've helped me beyond anything. So there's no doubt in my mind, I can help others, you know, with these products. So, oh, there are some good thoughts right there. Like my story is so powerful. Builders join my team. Mm. Yeah. Right. And then mm -hmm. now you're feeling, I can just like, see it. You're like feeling, it sounds like you're feeling like encouraged, empowered, confident. Would you, would you agree with that? I do. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So now that you're feeling encouraged, empowered, confident, what actions will you take from that space? Um, probably just continue to reach out. But um, I have some people that, um, you know, they always, you know, how people will say, yes, I'm interested, I'm interested. But I think that if I go there with specifics with them, 
I yeah. think it would even be better. I mean, I do, but you know what I mean? Even more so. There's like a different energy, right? There's a different energy behind like, oh my gosh, you guys, like, I'm just so passionate about this story. You've got to hear my story. I really want to share this with you versus like, well, so I was just kind of wondering if anyone might want to like smell this lavender because like citrus bliss is amazing, right? Like it's just a totally different energy. Not that that's you. I'm just kind of <laughs> Saturday Night Live thing right there. But um, like it, it just, it, it, you end up showing up different. You show up different and you take different actions. Now, when you wake up in the morning and you remind yourself and you write in your journal or you put that new thought somewhere where you can see it and you're like, dang it. My story is amazing. I do need to, there's people out there in pain just like you and they need your help. They're not going to find the solution until you come to them. Now you're going to start taking different actions. You're going to be like, what about that Facebook group over here? What about speaking over here? What about doing this? Like different ideas will come to you and you're going to end up with different results. Yeah. Thank you so much. Like that. Yes. You're welcome. Hi, Dr. Monica. Thanks for turning on your camera. Does any, would anyone else like to go through the mindset reset formula? <laughs> or ha I'm happy to answer questions, anything? Thanks for playing, Judy. I know being in the hot seat isn't always easy and I really appreciate you being vulnerable and being willing to share so that hopefully a lot of people will resonate with that and learn from that. So thank you. Judy, I'm in the same position you are. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I likewise have tremendous belief in the product. Um, I have had many people fall off from being excited to not because they just have so much chaos happening in their life, mm -hmm. which the oils are great at helping them manage that. And it's, it's almost like that's all they're willing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and depending on what they have going on, maybe that's all they're capable of doing. And mm -hmm. so those aren't the people that you want to have to keep after and after and after. Um, so um, if that helps at all, just sharing from my own personal experience. <laughs> right. Yeah. It sounds like what I'm hearing you say is that what you really want is people who you're not chasing after to build a business who are knocking on your door saying, Dr. Monica, like I I have this other chiropractor's office and what do I do to maybe see if they would like to have doTERRA in their office and they're coming to you and asking you like, how do I build my business? Yeah, uh, that'd be great. Yeah. And so the question, so here's another thing, you guys, a little brain trick you can play with. So your reticular activating system is a part of your brain that filters out unnecessary information. So if you, um, never thought about green cars before you will not see green cars on the road. But all of a sudden, if your teenage child is going to be driving soon and they tell you they, that you want like a lime green car, you're going to see lime green cars everywhere. It's, it's the way that your brain works. So one of the things you can do, like a trick you can play on your brain is ask your brain complex, specific questions like, where would I find people who want to be a builder? Where do they hang out? Who are they? What kind of traits do they have? And then you can kind of like tuck that in the back of your brain and let your brain go to work, let that reticular activating system go to work for you and start uncovering things that you never would have seen before that were this, that were still there, but it never occurred to you that that could be an opportunity because you weren't looking. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your Raz. <laughs> Awesome. Dr. Hannah, do you have anything else to add? Anyone have anything else I can help with? I'm taking notes. Nice. She's like, I'm right great. Notes. I yeah. love it. Uh, I'm going to ask my reticular, my RAC for short, right? RAZ, yeah. R -A -S. Um, where all of my new business partners are hanging out. And we're good. Me and my RAC are going to go find them and sign them up. Yep. There you go. Put it in there. 
It's your RAS. Oh, my RAS, not my, all right, not my rack, but my RAS. Activating system with an S, but it sounds like when you pronounce it, it kind of sounds fun to say it with a Z. RAS, my RAS. RAS doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> my RAS, I love it. My reticular activating system. Yeah. And me are going to be finding these people. For any of you who've like played slug bug, it's the same idea. Like you never see a slug bug, but then as soon as you play the game slug bug, it's like they're everywhere. Kind of just shows my age, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll ask you next time what a slug, what that game is. It's a, it's a Volkswagen bug. Those oh, cars, and you like it's a car, it's a game you can play when you're driving, and like, uh-huh. you, yep, thank you. If you see one, you can well you can tap or like punch the other person like slug bug. Yes, total teenager game. <laughs> okay, now I know. Now you'll see slug bugs everywhere for like the next three days. No, that's I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be finding builders every day. Yes, that too. I love it. That's totally a dangerous game for some teenagers because they don't know how to hit lightly, and you're usually driving. Yes. <laughs> so these are all the different kinds of. Um, like brain hacks, if you will. I love to study the brain, quantum physics, and then blend that with how to be a successful entrepreneur, whether it be leverage systems, time management, all all the things. So um, if anyone's interested, I offer 20 minute complimentary sessions as well. Uh, You can email me, I can send you a link, you can hop on the calendar. And basically we kind of do what Judy and I just did and do a, a mini session and just give coaching a try. I truly believe in helping wonderful people like you get out there in the world with products that the planet and people need. And it's my pleasure to serve you. I love it. Oh my gosh. So, so good. Can you, can you hop in the chat your uh, link to set up this 20 minute consultation? Sure can. Awesome. Um, let's see if I can to open that up. Mm-hmm. I love that you use quantum physics. I think that's that's so powerful. And if you you couple that with our incredible oils that we have, it's it's just magic. It really is. I um I love how the new book says like magic on the front of it. Yeah. Oil magic. One of the slides I put something about like the magic of your brain and had the doTERRA on there. I was like, oh yeah. It's funny because um, I'm doing the same presentation for a women's accountability group first thing tomorrow morning, and I'm not changing any of the slides. So doTERRA is going to be <laughs> all the slides for the one tomorrow morning. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Why not? Right? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Cool, guys. Well, definitely um, grab that link if you're interested in getting some uh, minutes with Coach Jenna. and. Um, Thank you so much for your time. I I loved it. My absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. And um, thank you. Yes. And I'd I'd love to connect with you. uh, If you guys are on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, find me, send me a request. I'll do the same. Let's support each other um, in any way that we can. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for hopping on. Um, If you don't have her, uh, what is it called? Uh, Alignment homework. The alignment assignment. Yeah. Alignment assignment. I, I like it. alliteration. Verbiage. It's at the top of the um, the comments. And then also I'll I'll drop that in the um, Facebook live um, tomorrow. Sorry, I got to get home to my kids. And uh, thank you again, Jenna. Yay. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Bye. Okay, I'm going to stop recording for just a moment. Stop, where are you? Stop. I'm going to stop Facebook. Beautiful. Um, We we had a few people on um, Facebook joining (laughs) us too um, that I will, they wanted your information. I will. I should be part of that Facebook group. Yeah, right? perfect. So I'll just um, remind me the name of it because that would be helpful just so I don't have to make my brain think too hard. And I'll just hop it. It is. Um, so we have two um, Empowered Wellness Partners is okay. for our. Um, sorry, I 